This is a preview of the lecture video on anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. The snippets of the various topics covered under this lecture video will follow. So anomalous pulmonary venous drainage. Once you see the lead point sign, these are the steps I have already told you. Look for other sections, look for steps, not in the uh, general uh, uh, scanning community. So the median age of, uh, median gestation age at diagnosis is 27 weeks. So this, why is this? Because the, there is increased uh, four chamber view. You see the apical four chamber view and you see the two pulmonary, inferior pulmonary veins joining the left atrium. The superior pulmonary veins, you see the pulmonary veins uh, nicely. One uh, blue from the right and red from the left. And if you do a spectral Doppler, you see the, you can see how many uh, variations, about 32 variations are possible. But most are partial uh, uh, anomalies, partial uh, venous anom partial pulmonary venous drainage anomalies. So they are very difficult to detect prenatally. So at present, uh, we aim to diagnose only total behind the heart. Now here you see the uh, left atrium, which is very close uh, to the descending or a sciota, which is in front of the spine. So the and pulmonary artery ductus, and on the left side you see additional uh, vein. So it can be left uh, SVC or brachycephalic. Now brachycephalic vein is seen in the as you make an axial uh, sweep of the heart, which is the direct sign. So this is the very important, the direct sign. You look for the pulmonary veins draining into the left atrium. So this is both. You must see the pulmonary vein. We must also demonstrate that it drains into the uh, four chamber view from the right lateral aspect. So you see the pulmonary veins draining into the left atrium. But if you see the same features from apical approach, where the pulmonary veins are perpendicular color, you see that they don't drain and it is forming a confluent vein which goes from left to right all the way. You see that the color of flow is different, red and blue in the uh, two veins in the 3 VT depending upon the tilt. So here uh, uh, the left, the anomalous vein on the left side is appearing you see. The differentiating point will be, one is the flow direction. In TAPVC it will be opposite colors whereas in double SVC it will be the same color depending upon the tilt. And next pointer is uh, you will see a dilated brachycephalic vein in the, the right uh, SVC to join the right atrium. So that is the con where confluent vein on the left side, red, then the brachycephalic vein blue from left to right and the SVC. So you can see that in the video. This is the before and uh, you see the video, you see the confluent veins. Uh, uh, that is the vein going into the right SVC and it ascends up by the side of SVC and joins in somewhere closer to the neck. So as a result, there are two veins uh, on the right side. Uh, then we go at a different level. From the uh, left uh, uh, SVC, it is crossing to join the right atrium. And uh, when you do uh, this coronal scan, you see the uh, right SVC in red and the vertical vein on the uh, left side in blue. Blue from the right joined together open directly into the right atrium which is seen uh, well in the video. You can see additional vein and uh, when you see the brachycephalic vein it is normal. Okay. So now here uh, again you see the uh, uh, the pulmonary veins. You see the pulmonary veins they are joining together and uh, joining together and immediately opening into the coronary side through the four chamber view you see the uh, pulmonary veins joining together. And uh, then uh, if, if you tell vein going down into the abdomen. So that is the left atrium. It goes from there, it goes into the abdomen and then passing like that and joining the portal vein. Now we'll see the anatomy uh, of the portal vein. That is the uh, umbilical portal vein. This is the additional vein coming and joining the portal vein. So because of the difficulty of surgery, and whether it is obstructed or not. So this is a uh, normal appearance of uh, pulmonary vein. So when it is not obstructed, uh, a vertical vein on the right side, instead of on the left side, it will be on the right side. So the, all the veins are in confluent vein, which goes to the right 
and uh, ascends up as a vertical vein by the side of uh, right SVC and joins the right SVC somewhere here. So when you do a cross section, you will see as if there is coronary sinus and then in turn cross the left atrium to join the right atrium. And uh, if any of these uh, may be obstructed, which is evidenced by uh, the continuous flow in spectral Doppler. And uh, the prenatal diagnosis, uh, till now the stress is on indirect signs, but we have to switch over to a direct sign because it is looking for the direct sign. Once you have seen the direct sign that the pulmonary veins are not joining the uh, left atrium, so you, they form a confluent vein, then, then again there are two different approaches for diagnosis, arriving at the final diagnosis of TFS.